space. The vast vacuum that surrounds us in all its awesome infinite eternity. The unfathomable... Hello? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> what? <clears throat> but, sir, um, sir, I'm not terribly good at... Hmm? Yes, yes, at, at once, at once, of course. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Space. The vast vacuum that surrounds us all in its awesome infinite eternity. The unfathomable... <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Yes, I know, sir. I know. Terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. I did try to explain this, and I was an awfully good at uh, accents, you see. When I took this job, he didn't say that American accents were... For... Yes, yes, very well. Thank you. Yes, sir. Space! The vast vacuum of... Look out! You have just been watching live pictures brought to you by this news channel's roving reporter, Satellite. Astronomers throughout the world are uncertain as mm, to the origin that's of this. Strange. Planet. I'll say this, Chief. I mean, it's not every day that a white planet comes hurtling out of the. No, Penfold. What I mean is, it should be red. But it's white, Chief. Why should it be red? No, no, not the white planet, Penfold. Mars. I mean, Mars, it's always been called the red planet. Well, that's silly, Chief. Why should they call it the red planet when it's plain to see that it was brown? Exactly. It's brown. That Mars will end its journey of several light years in the inescapable gravitational pull of the black hole Sigma Omega. Oh, yes. Something going on here. And in view of the fact that the white planet looks as if it's here to stay, the news channel has decided to launch a competition to find a name for it with big, big prizes for the lucky winner. Oh, God! So let's have those names on a postcard. Be the press to planet competition via box 6600. Remember, we're awarding big, big prizes. So don't delay. Most today. Good grief. They'll commercialise anything these days. Whipple. Hmm? A whipple, Pempo? What on earth do you mean, Whipple? Whipple! I think they ought to call the new planet Whipple. I see. Silly of me not to have realised. And uh, why Whipple? Well, the new planet's a bit like a pearl, you see, and it's jolly big. And my Auntie Doris is big and jolly, see? No, Penfold, strange as it might seem, I don't see. God, Chief, you are slow today. <laughs> see, she went to Eastbourne for her holidays last year, and when she was there, she saw this beautiful pearl necklace. Ah, so she bought it, did she? No, Uncle Harold bought it. I see, did it suit him? <laughs> no, 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 Chief. He bought it for Auntie Doris. Yes, I know, uh, Penfold, but you see, when you said Uncle Harold bought it, I said, did it, you see, because that's a sort of, it's a, <coughs> never mind, Penfold. So, what's all this got to do with Whipple? It's the name of the shop they bought the necklace from, of course. Of course, how stupid of me. Whipple and Son, Gifts and Confectionery. It's right on the seafront, and it's got a lovely blue sign outside. Pemfold. And you can buy rock with Eastbourne going right through it. Pemfold. And ice cream and sherbet lemons and... Pemfold. Yes, Chief. Good night. Oh, night-night, Chief. Whipple. Whipple. That's not. How about Planet Ribulon? Planet Pneumothorax. Planet Penfold. No, I don't think that's a very good name for... Oh! Oh, you mean me? Yes, Penfold. What was it you wanted to say, DM? Shush, Penfold. Don't forget, turn the lights off. <laughs> I slept like a... Watch! Help, Chief! Get your house! Wake up! Quick, quick, help! <laughs> Mm. Yes, Penfold, you called? Quick, dear! Outside! Outside! Well, before breakfast, not likely, Penfold. No, Chief, I don't mean go outside, I mean, I mean, look outside! Oh, very well, Penfold. Good grief. See, Chief? Yes, Or rather, no. There isn't anything out there to see. It's... It's gone. London's gone. Hmm. This is serious. We'd better investigate, Penfold. What, before breakfast? Come on, Penfold. I suppose it's a good thing, really. Well, you mean no London? No, I mean no breakfast. I might have been sick otherwise. Oh, I hate that lift. Who's done it here? Who's sold it London? Do you think it's green back, hey, Chief? Hey, hey, hey. No, Penfold. No, no, no. I think that the removal of the greatest city in the world is too big a job even for Greenback. There's something or someone else at work here. Something so massive, so incredibly huge and powerful, so good grief. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure, Plenty. But I don't think they're from planet Earth. You think they might be from planet Whipple, Chief? Ye, I do wish you'd stop calling it that. Well, what is it we want to call it, then? I don't know, Penfield. What's wrong with Planet Whipple, anyway? Look, Penfield, I've got more important things to do than argue with you. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, nearly a nasty accident, that was. I'm not so sure, Penfield. What do you mean, Liam? I mean, that hammer almost hit us. No, I meant that I'm not so sure it was an accident. Do you mean... Precisely. Yeah, what's your game, John? The name is Danger Mouse, and I was about to ask you the same question. Come on, John, back in the car and under the hammer. <laughs> and let you squash us to jelly, not likely. Come on, John, play the game, it won't hurt. <laughs> Just a little tap on the... Ah, oh, that's terrific, ain't it? Now look what you've gone and made him do. Hey, what's the big idea, putting the brakes on like that? Well, it wasn't my fault, was it? That little galah down there was... Oh, no, look out! Right, look at that. What'd you stop for then, eh? Yeah, sorry, mate. Seems it's all down to that little pom there. It most certainly is not. That's right, Chief. You tell him. Yes, thank you, Penfold. I was merely taking evasive action to avoid being smashed to smithereens by that giant hammer there. You can't do that. I mean, we got a job to do here. I mean, we're running way beyond schedule as it is. Yeah, I mean, look at the last job. Painted Mars Brown. You painted Mars Brown? Yeah, brute of a job. Put his days behind that, did. But why? You ever tried to paint a planet? Not why did it put you behind schedule. Why did you paint it? Sure. Oh, where's they been? It's always brown before blue, isn't it? Of course it is. Now, would you mind? It's like you said, we got a job to do, John. The name is Danger Mouse. Yeah, the thing's nipping out the way when we're just about to smooth them, well, it's not on. Not on, no. I mean, we'd never get finished if everything did that, would we? Never get finished, no. Never get what finished? The job in hand, of course. Hey, you, you've got to get the impact area smoothed out. You might get a nasty kick if it's not smooth. Know what I mean, John? Impact area? Kick? What do you mean? And for the last time, I am not called John. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Look, if your impact area's not smooth, right, then your white's not going to hit it right, right? You get what's called a kick and your shot's right up the spout, ain't it? Right up the spout. Up the spout, yeah. Up the spout, yeah! Don't you start, Penfield. And that being the case, your ultimate goal is just another shattered dream. Ultimate goal? What ultimate goal? Oh, doesn't know a lot, does he? Not a lot, no. The Intergalactic 147, of course. The Intergalactic 147... Base control to advanced preparation unit. Base control to advanced preparation unit. New ship is now entering target site. Estimated time of contact, five Earth hours. Repeat, five Earth hours. Over. Stab the lizards! Only five hours? Oh, time we wasn't there. You got the pink paint, mate? Yeah, got it. Venus, here we come! Initiate immediate evacuation of impact area. Wait, stop holding! What is going on? Oh, crack! Crack! Um, John! Good grief, Penfold. Not you two. My name is not, has never been, and never will be, John. Yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Chief? Yes, Penfold? What's going on, Chief? I don't know, Penfold. And, and who were they? I don't know, Penfold. And what were they doing? I don't know, Penfold. And why were they here? I don't know, P Penfold. Yes, Chief. Shush. But, Chief! Just shush, Penfold. I'm trying to think. Kane, Danger Mouse. Are you there, Danger Mouse? Yes, Colonel. I'm here. Go ahead. Appalling news, dear. Shocking state of affairs. End of civilization as we know it. The question is, dear. Yes, Colonel. The question is, um... The question, uh, uh, Yes, Colonel, question is? Yes? Yes? Something the matter, dear? I think so, Colonel. This appalling news. Really? Well, just have to wait, dear. Got a pretty sticky problem on our hands. Oh, we got there in the end. Positively earth-shattering. Aren't they all, Colonel? Oh, yes, but this one really is earth-shattering. Just take a look at this. Good grief, I don't believe it. Nor do I. I'm sure it was full this morning. Not one left. Penfold, I wasn't talking about your sherbet lemons. I meant the... Aha, uh -huh. speak of the devil. Oh, there you are, dear. Where the blazes did you get to? Me, Colonel. Well, just try to pay attention in future now. As I was saying, take a look at this. Yes, the new planet. We caught it last night on television, sir. And I think they ought to call it Planet Whipple. Whipple, eh? Oh, yeah. That's not a bad idea, Penfold. Hey, how is your Auntie Doris, by the way? Oh. She's very well, thank you for asking, Colonel, sir. And your Uncle Harold? Well, he's fine, too, apart from one little problem. 
Excuse me for interrupting this interesting conversation, but didn't you just mention something about an earth-shattering problem? Yes! He can't keep the birds from pinching his lawn seed. Ben Fowler, I wasn't talking about your uncle. I was talking about the problem with regard to the new planet. Coming over the women's string with bottle tops and newspaper titles. That should do the trick. What? You mean over the whole planet, sir? No, no, just Uncle Harold's lawn. Oh, yes, of course, sir. <laughs> what about the new planet? Right, so, yes. Watch closely. Our Boffin chaps have been keeping a close watch on the new planet from their roving reporter satellite. A few hours ago, they picked up an almost indistinguishable radio signal. They focused on the area beyond the planet, and as they did so, the signal grew stronger, and that came into view. Good. Good. Grief, Chief. Zacky Pim. Boffins make of it, sir. They tell me it's hundreds of miles long and headed straight for the new planet on a collision course. Well, I went on a crash course once. Honestly, Pepper, not a crash course, a collision course. Oh, that's harder, is it? A, a collision course? Uh... It's the wrong time to ask, is it? Uh... Boffin chaps estimate that the spacecraft is going to hit the new planet in approximately three hours. 37 minutes and 18 seconds. Approximately. Approximately, yes. Well, that means we've only got about... Three hours, 37 minutes and... Yes, thank you, Pepper. Plus the time it'll take the planet to reach the Earth after it's been hit. What? From what I saw, its trajectory is directly in line with Earth. You mean? Yes. A head-on encounter. Smithereen time. Oh, Great yes. Scott! Or... Oh, or what? Or worse. If the new planet doesn't crush the Earth, it'll send it shooting off into deep space towards Sigma Omega. Oh, isn't that uh, just outside East Ford? Um... Not exactly, Penfold. It's a black hole. Oh, we're kind. You, I should have got those new batteries for my torch. Penfold, shush. I need time to think. Right, you carry on then, Danger Mouse. Much dash. I understand, sir. Got a report to Dining Street, I take it. No, off for the shops before they close. I need some batteries, too. Oh, hmm. Oh. Shh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Uh, no. So, what's the answer, Chief, eh? Um, How are we going to save the world this time? Really? I mean, we are... We are going to save the world, aren't we, Uncle Chief? I mean, ooh, who comes? Ooh, who cries? I mean, don't tell me you can't think of anything. I mean, you usually have the answer by now, DM. This problem, it, it's not got your snooker, has it? Penfield, that's it. It is? What is? The answer, you've got it. I? But I have? Yes. Oh, oh, good. I wonder what it is. And so, Danger Mouse once more finds the answer to the unanswerable and, in a race against time, forces every ounce of power out of the Mark III. But if we follow the world's greatest secret agent, I'm sure we'll find the answer to what the answer of the question, and indeed the question to which the answer of, has been found by Danger Mouse is. Colonel, everything's ready. Good, sir, dear. And I managed to find some batteries. Well, if this works, you won't be needing them. I see, yes. But, but how did you work it all out? Well, Colonel, it was Penfold who gave me the key. I didn't, DM. You had it all the time. It's in your pocket with your small change. <coughs> Penfold? Yes, Jim? Shush. Just shush while I speak to the Colonel. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> you see, sir, it was when Penfold mentioned snooker that it all fell into place. Snooker? What's snooker got to do with all this? Everything, sir. You see, we're part of an intergalactic snooker game. A snooker game that is very near the end. Intergalactic snooker? Yes, sir. It's my guess that these snooker aliens, whoever they may be, are nearing a maximum break. The intergalactic 147, they said. And 147 is the highest break you can get in a snooker. Oh, bless Scott DM, no need to tell me that. <laughs> yes. I think they must be onto the colours, sir. You know, first the yellow, then the green, followed by the brown, blue, pink, and black ball. Yes, 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 dear. I know how to play snooker, haven't I? Yes, but, Colonel, you see... Why, I remember when I was out in Buda, I... Oh, I was at the full yard. Yes, I know, Colonel. No, but... it was Surbiton. I was... Colonel! Yes, dear. Shush! Yes, thank you, Penfold. <clears throat> now, listen, Colonel. The white planet has potted the brown ball, right? That's to say Mars. And the long white spaceship is lining up to pop the next colour, the blue ball, the Earth. 
So my plan had better work or... Oh, it will, dear mummy. It will. It will. Will it? Yes, well, well, no, wait a minute. I'm switching over to the satellite. Stand by. Yes, but the hard part was persuading all the world's leaders to get their fellow countrymen to do it at the same time, thus causing a momentary imbalance in the world's rotation, just enough to ensure that the white planet would miss us. Well done, dear. Top marks. Um, there's just one small thing there. You mean... you mean Penfold, sir? Oh, no, GM, London. It's still missing. Can't have a country without a capital city. Not done, you know. Not done at all. Good grief. Yes, it slipped my mind in all the excitement. Oh. I wonder where... Uh, Colonel? Yes, Penfold? We haven't got a spare, have we? Penfold? Yes. Shush. And so, with the world safely saved once again, we leave London. That is, we would leave London if it hadn't already left us. And who knows where it might be? Indeed, who knows who it was that attempted to pop the Earth? It might be just as well to find out. After all, we wouldn't want to be invaded by intergalactic snooker beings from outer space again, would we? I mean, that would be... Well, it would be, wouldn't it? It would be silly. Yeah. So, until we... Next week. You all have yourselves a nice day, yeah? Yeah. Howdy, boy. <coughs> Sorry. I mean, hello, sir. Sir, how nice to hear you. Yeah. Ah. Nice. 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 He's the greatest, he's fantastic, wherever there is danger he'll be there. He's the ace, he's amazing, he's the strongest, he's the quickest, he's the best. Danger Mouse. He's terrific, he's magnific, he's the greatest secret agent in the world. Danger Mouse, powerhouse, he's the fastest, he's the greatest, he's the best. Danger Mouse.